All right, so we are starting off this segment right now, and our guest just said it's dangerous. <laughs> it is! So there's something dangerous coming up here. ABC7 is helping you celebrate the new year. 2017 is just about 16 hours away right now. All right, here to give us some ideas to make your party a success. Maybe you're having friends over. Director of Wine and Service over at Maple and Ash and 8 Bar. Belinda Chang is with us this morning. Belinda, Hi, thank you. Good morning. And we're talking about danger because we're talking about opening up a bottle of champagne the most exquisite and cool way ever by cutting it right That's off. That's right, we brought all kinds of safety gear because this is what we suggest yeah. if you're going to try this at home. In fact, we don't suggest that you try it No, at there home. are classes. I was telling <laughs> Stacy there are actual classes yeah. in this, right? Do it into your backyard. I think this is the safest way to try it. Okay, right. so we're going to do that at the end, at right? The okay. End, okay, so give us some hints and some <laughs> tips on what you do have up here. So these are just some fun ideas for pairing sparkling wines and champagne because everyone loves to drink that over the holidays. Yes. So we've got a classic pairing right up here in front. So Moet and Chandon, which I love, you can find this under $50 at retail in the store. So this is maybe your one special bottle that you hide under the table yeah. from all your friends. <laughs> and we love to pair it at Maple and Ash, and people worldwide love to pair it with caviar. Sure. So all you need is a little caviar, and for my parties, we put everything onto a potato chip to oh, make wow. it really easy. So okay. the ruffled potato chip, I think, is fun. We've got Lay's, and you can sex it up with sweet potato chips. Yes. There's all kinds of fancy ones all over the place. So that's number one. That's my favorite party hors d'oeuvre, number one. Number two, if you don't want to do champagne, there are all kinds of great sparkling wines all over the world that you can get at lower price points. So this guy is just about ten dollars wow. in your grocery store at your wine store it's a cava from spain mm -hmm. that's made from girello and perlata and macabeo three grapes that we never have to think about but right. they make a delicious sparkling wine so what we did for my party is a little spinach and artichoke dip mm -hmm. super easy i made it in five minutes this morning before i got here oh yeah that looks yummy and we fancified it for my party with black truffles so you see that black yeah, shaving right on, on top, top right. which is one of the most luxurious ingredients yes. in the world so i did this with you know just canned artichokes frozen spinach and then sexed it up with some black truffles. Yeah. And then all the way to the right is my other favorite dip in the world. Uh, we've got French onion dip, right? So you take a little soup mix and you take some sour cream, or I like to sex it up with creme fraiche, which is fancy. With what? Creme fraiche. What yes. is that? Fancy sour cream. Yep. Fancy sour cream. <laughs> yeah, okay, you style. can clearly tell I don't have the fancy sour cream in my fridge. <laughs> yeah. But I do have the onion soup mix. You've got that. So yeah, I've already made that dip twice this week with the yeah. cheap sour cream. Right, right. It's fantastic. And I love it for holidays. Easy. You know, that party, we just want to snack Absolutely. and be with all of our friends and talk about the year. So. And Prosecco is a type of drink that for somebody, for example, for my sister who doesn't drink but yeah. will like a little something for the holidays, yeah. drinks this because it's sweet and so it's light. Yes. Yeah. Eight sweet. dollars. Right. Eight from the and affordable. Drink. Right. And all your friends are going to be excited to toast the new year with you with that. Where are those safety glasses? <laughs> I've got now you safety have to be worried. Glasses. You guys have to watch now, this. You're if you've never seen this before. Hot gloves? No, they're for you. They're for your protection. Oh, okay, right. I'm going to stand over here. I'm telling you, for, for, people, your eyes. for people at home who have never seen this, this is a really incredible way to open up a box. Well, explain to us, Belinda, it's, the tradition. It's really fun. So they think this started with Napoleon's troops. They would be horseback, you know, riding through the Champagne region, which is a region in France, and they'd be thirsty. They'd want to drink champagne. And who wants to screw around oh, with getting this whole wire cage off a bottle of champagne. <laughs> it's much more fun to use your sword, which you happen to have on you anyway, because you're one of Napoleon's troops. Of course you and have And just your sword lob on you. off the top of the bottle. So okay. are you going to need this these? Is, I'm gonna be okay, but okay, I definitely she's a suggest them for at home. Yeah, well so. we don't need gloves because we're not doing it, but we do need the protective eye gear. Are you oh, gonna do know when you're ready? Gloves. I feel like yeah. I'm gonna need to go like this. <laughs> you're all set to go. You're very, okay. So this is a fun party trick you've probably seen on TV. Uh, people fail at this all the time. It's yes. a hashtag saber fail. <laughs> Scary things have happened on news programs like this, but I'm going to aim today. away from you. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're aiming and away. This is the traditional way to do it. You use what's called a champagne saber. So yes. this is known as everything sounds great in French. It's the art of sabrage. And you're going to find a little sweet spot on the bottle, which uh, every bottle has a little seam here. Uh -huh. You can see it right there. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to find that, have that right on top. I'm going to hold the bottle at 45 degrees. Good luck, folks over and there. Then that are we're going to pray, and everyone who's out there in TV and Land's going to duck. <laughs> and we're going to try to not ruin any of your equipment so that the news can continue. Today. Oh yeah, hopefully so. the boss is not watching right now. <laughs> I'm joking. So if we do this all right, I'm going to Here we go. give it a couple hits. No, nope, that's not gonna work. Uh-oh. And if this all goes, this is, that's a saber fail. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's a saber fail. I'm gonna try, I'm Third gonna cheese time is a charm. Let's do it with the steak Ooh, knife. Oh boy, okay, That's gonna be more go. fun. Nope. No? Okay, third time, fourth time, fourth time. Okay, there we go. All right, 
Cher was awesome you. on that. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> right. Live on TV as well. I Perfect. love it. Oh, that's great. And we didn't even need the eyeglasses. No, see, right? we're safe and sound. All right, so you can recover from a long night of a New Year's <laughs> Eve brunch tomorrow at 8 bar from 11 until 2 o'clock. We're also posting all this information on our website, abc7chicago.com. We'll be right back after this break. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>